Welcome back. Here we are, everybody. 414 and uh, starting off along the lakeshore with blue skies uh, abound uh, pretty much for every uh, spot here. It's just very cool. Upper 40s to lower 50s is what we're experiencing. But yeah, we're looking for a silver lining and we've got it because it's all blue skies. No clouds around in that vicinity of the viewing area. You come inland and there are these strato cumulus slash cumulus clouds that are trying to slowly but surely wane away and in some locations doing a decent job of that. Even here at Fox 17, I went outside about 10 minutes ago. Uh, predominantly, the sky is blue. Looks like a few more pop up clouds there across the city of GR, but certainly brighter skies than the last couple of days. Visible satellite imagery tells the tale. Uh, earlier this morning, there was a lot more of a solid, uh, even overcast at times, but those clouds have broken up. Uh, more of a stable layer right there along the lakeshore. So again, minimal of any clouds in that part of the viewing area. I think we will get into mostly clear to just plain clear skies here locally in GR to Kalamazoo and Battle Creek for a stretch this evening before more clouds come in. And those clouds will signal another system that uh, will have some scattered light showers for tomorrow. I've brought down the temperature to 50 on Thursday. It's going to be chilly. Lakeshore communities only in the 40s. And then jumping back to 54 with still, as we talked about yesterday, maybe a shower or two from time to time on Friday. Not an all-day rain, rain out. And uh, neither will tomorrow be, but it's going to be raw, folks. A lot of clouds tomorrow and uh, certainly some periods of light rain in the mix. Live radar, don't have anything to show you. And why would we? We have got uh, minimal clouds at this point. We've got high pressure that is right overhead, but uh, it's not going to last long because the next low pressure system right behind it, and it will be following that stationary boundary or warm front, whichever you want to call it. And it has some moisture, as you can see, out through Minnesota and Iowa. That's what will be affecting us for tomorrow morning. Already, I think, by 7, 8 o'clock in the morning and beyond. Big upper low, as I talked about yesterday, spiraling over southern Hudson Bay, and that is bringing down the cool flow into the central and eastern United States. Going to stay locked in into the early part of next week, though easing, I think, with the chill as we go along. So next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, working back into the 60s at that time. Mostly clear to eventually partly cloudy again as some high and mid-level clouds stream in ahead of this next system by later this evening. And for the overnight, we have jumped to 58. How about that in Grand Rapids? So we'll see if we can gain another degree over the next hour or so. A little bit cooler Ionia to Battle Creek, a lot cooler along the lakeshore, including South Haven, Benton Harbor in the upper 40s and no surprise with a northwest wind coming off the lake. It is a little bit breezy. We mentioned that last night, probably some wind gusts to around 20 to 25. We're feeling it out there. It's not real windy, but certainly a touch breezy and high temperatures tomorrow. This is not exactly what you want to see, but getting used to it, aren't we? With highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. The next seven days, now again, that gray box on the left side of the screen, that's the average high for tomorrow. By the end of the seven day, our average high right up against 70 degrees, and I've got no 70s coming. Uh, over this seven day stretch, though, as I mentioned a few moments ago, we're starting to turn the corner, starting to moderate this atmosphere just a bit by Tuesday, Wednesday, and I think beyond that, getting even a little bit warmer at that time. Future track model, uh, mostly clear skies, but here come some of those high and mid level clouds drifting in 10, 11, 12 o'clock tonight. No moisture with it initially, but watch the model as we go along. Five o'clock out towards six, seven, eight o'clock. I think some rain showers approaching the lakeshore. Not heavy stuff, just nuisance type, turning the pavement damp. And that'll continue into the early afternoon. Some clouds will linger behind it, probably by late afternoon or evening. Some breaks in the clouds for sun, but too late to really warm us up. 50, we'll call it, Doug and Derek. And then, well, looking chilly through Mother's Day weekend. All right, thank you for that, Anthony. When you think of ways to